fire alarm. When I was little, something exciting happened at my nursery school. It was nearly break time. I was helping Miss Claire. Willie helped too. There was a loud, loud noise. Come on, everyone, it's the fire alarm. Come on. Claire said it was the fire alarm. Come on, everyone, well done. I didn't like the horrid noise. Come on. It hurt my ears. Come along. We all need to leave, said Claire. Good, I thought, away from the nasty noise. Claire made sure we were all safe outside together. Be ba, be ba. A fire engine came round the corner. I liked the fire engine. The firefighters jumped out. They ran into the nursery. The firefighters wore hats. Don't worry, said Claire. The firefighters are just checking to see if there's a fire. Is everything OK? Yeah, nothing to worry about. We'll take them. Firefighter said, no fire, no worries. The firefighters didn't have a fire to put out. They showed us their fire engine. I like the firefighters. That's it. There you go. We wave bye-bye to the firefighters. Bye-bye, firefighters. There wasn't that exciting, said Claire. Come on. When we went back inside, everything looked just the same. We had our break. After break, I didn't want a story. I didn't want to hear that nasty noise again. Yeah? Let's go. I asked Claire if I could go home. I didn't like the fire alarm. Hey Tig, fire alarms may sound scary, but fire alarms have to be loud so that everyone can hear them. Whee! They make all sorts of funny noises too. Dring! Woo, 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 woo! Beep, 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 beep! But fire alarms aren't there to worry us. They're there to make us safe. When the fire alarm sounds, it tells us to leave the building because there might be a fire. It also tells us it's working properly. Hooray! But hey, they don't go off that much. Dring! But when they do go off, we all have to leave the nursery together. So nothing to worry about. If the fire alarm sounds, you know what to do. Listen to that, Tig. More funny noises. Someone's playing fire engines. Whee! Go and have fun. Yes, I thought. Nothing to worry about. I want to play fire engines too. Beep ba beep ba. We ran about bee fire engines. Beep ba beep ba. My fire engine was going so fast that Wooly flew off in the air. And I'm your toy spider. I don't mind fire alarms. I like fire engines. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were here. The hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. <laughs> Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me, when Daddy pulled me up. 
I like the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mum? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds, looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet with strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey, Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Wee! And then one day, Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my Daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. Silly Daddy hadn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. It's only a size five, I like hospitals. I love my Daddy. And I love Willie. I love Willie and Willie loves me. We've been together since we were wee. He's my spider.